Hey guys, Michael here, and welcome back to Pokemon City. And today we have our t first top five for Pokemon video ever on this channel. So, um, just like the King Nappy, uh, this top five is 100% my opinion. If you guys don't agree, then too bad, because, uh, it's my opinion. It's not yours. So, mine. Or, right. anyways, yes, this is my opinion. So, if you guys do not. Uh, like it uh, make sure you guys uh, put your own uh, list or top five in the bottom in the comments so let's begin this top five in the number five spot we have AJ slash AJ slash whatever you want to call it um, AJ slash is uh, amazing Pokemon stat wise and look wise I think uh, everyone underest like not underestimated but like sort of doubted it when when the first evolution came out because everyone was like oh my god uh what is it oh, i actually forgot i forgot the first evolution but dublade and uh the first evolution were like all oh, Pokemon's running on ideas but age of slash came through and it sh became a beast of a pokemon it's uh right now it's actually um I might get banned from OU, but, uh, yeah, it's an amazing Pokemon. I love it. Uh, it can be special or, uh, offensive. You can even make it a, f uh, defensive, uh, Pokemon if you really wanted to, but I prefer an offensive, uh, Edger Slash. Um, I don't know anyone who wants a defensive. Actually, you could be, like, toxic, and then just protect, King Shield, protect, King Shield, oh, but, Wait, can I just actually protect? I'm not sure. But if you can, that'd be way too OP. Well, yeah, I love or like in any or I think are you maybe? Um, you have a light do blade is the thing. I mean, Edge Slash is just the perfect Pokemon, perfect typing. Ghost and Steel, even though it has a major weakness to Ghost, because uh or and Earthquake and Hit, but. King Shield lowers, it learns King Shield, which lowers the opponent's attack if hit by a physical attack. And, I mean, this Pokemon is just all around great. Um, <clears throat> I don't have X and Y, so I never tried it. But in Showdown, it's just amazing. And, um, yeah, so let's get into the next Pokemon. Alright, in the number four spot, we have Sceptile. And Sceptile is one of those Pokemon that I liked as a kid and I, I was like oh my god it's Sceptile and he looks amazing uh now I was like eh it's okay it's shiny form it's pretty cool but yeah Sceptile is on this list because I just liked him as a kid and uh and I would always pretend I was and I always like to pretend I was a Sceptile you know using leaf blade on things you know like that wait yeah so Sceptile was, was one of my childhood Pokemon I liked and, um, but have you seen his new Mega Evolution in, um, Mega Ruby Abyss at 5? I mean, that's just amazing that he finally got a Mega Evolution, and, um, I, uh, really like it. So, uh, let's go into the next Pokemon. Alright, so, Pokemon number three is Gengar. <coughs> Gengar was another one, another of my childhood favorites, but, uh, Gengar, uh, <coughs> Unlike Sceptile, uh, just, <clears throat> I love its design, and its typing's okay, but its design, and just the sim, it's so simple, it's just, oh my god, Gengar is just the best, I mean, it's so chubby, so chubby and cute, but yeah, I got a Mega Evolution and a Pokemon XY, which is also pretty cool, but yeah, um, Gengar is really good at special attack and speed. It's beast and it's even and it's mega got banned from OU. But yeah, Gengar, which is one of my favorite favorites, and it's OG first gen, you know, and the, the nostalgia is real. Gengar. Um uh, actually I was gonna make a channel for Gengar, like like a mascot by Gengar as my mascot, but there already was. I didn't really, really see like I was copying like King Nappy or something like that. So I decided not to. But Gengar's still an amazing Pokemon. His design's amazing. It's 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 just it's just an amazing Pokemon. Alright, number two is Ampharos. And uh Ampharos used to be my number one, but uh, I'll discuss that later. 
but Ampharos is just oh my god it's like a sheep goat thing I have no idea I, I love its design its stats are okay but it's just its design I, I don't know something about Ampharos just speaks to me uh, Ampharos I never got a chance actually I in yeah, I really never got a chance to use Ampharos in my, um, uh, when I played Pokemon, because I just couldn't find him. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I never used one. It was just wasn't good. But I just love its design, and its Mega is okay, but its design is amazing. Uh, I just really like it, uh, and the anime is, he's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so let's get into number one. Alright guys, in the number one spot is the one and only Chandelure, Chandelure, or whatever you want to call it. I love Chandelure because it has an amazing typing, fire and ghost. It's just an amazing Pokemon. Um, it's in UU, but uh, it's still, it's amazing. I love its design, I mean, a, like a haunted Chandelure, Chandelier. I mean, Come on, that's that's probably like the best idea of Nintendo I've ever had. Not really though. But I just love Shinola. The first time I saw him, I really wanted to use him. And I did use him for my first time <coughs> playing Pokemon Black. It was amazing Pokemon to use. Uh, I mean, it, it was it was an amazing Pokemon. It was. Uh, yeah, it's shiny is okay, but design-wise and stat-wise, it's all good. Um, yeah, so I think Chandler is like my only favorite good. Yeah, it is the only ghost type I actually ever used in a game because all the ghost types I can't really use because Gengar you have to trade for. But, um, yeah, so Chandler is in my number one spot. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the, this uh, different type of video, and uh, see you guys next time.